So today's swarm is a little cast or secondary swarm and they've landed on a, an azalea bush here, shrub, and it's only, it's only a couple of handfuls of bees really, but there's, if they've got um, one or more than one virgin queens in there, which they almost certainly will have, then it's just about enough bees to make a viable colony next year if, they can get, if we can get them through the winter. And what I'll probably do is put them in one of my small quadratic hives and get them started on that because I think being in a, in a big hive will be just too much for them, too much space. So we'll pop them into a basket and see how they go on. Start by putting the basket underneath and just doing that. Should get most of them. It was nice to see the queen, but mm. usually you don't. So what we've done now is just made an entrance here. Oh, for them so to go into. He's mm. in the air, can find the way down. <clears throat> Sounds amazing. And what happens now is that the bees in the basket will start fanning and they'll fan their homing scent into the air uh. and that will bring the other bees to them. Okay. Some of them will go back there because it still smells mm -hmm. of bee. Oh yeah, there's a branch just there that's got quite a lot on. Where's that? Just up. Just by your hand there. Here? Yeah. Oh yeah. swarms this is always a bit of a gamble you're never quite sure if they're going to stay in the basket or whether they're just going to take umbrage and go somewhere else really <laughs> prime swarms will almost always stay put but so why did you spray the basket then oh on the outside that's more for cooling oh, okay because what you don't want to do is get them too hot uh, yeah. while they're tra travelling, so I spray the outside of the basket and then you get an evaporative cooling effect. Okay. It keeps them cool. You can see here, look, see these guys here mm. standing with their tails in the air? Yeah. They're fanning their, there's a gland oh. right on their tail called the Nazanov gland. Oh, wow. Named after the Russian guy who've discovered it. And they're fanning the scent from that gland into the air and that's attracting the other bees to them. So they all know this is their home now? They are definitely getting the, the mm. hint. There's still a few that are a bit stubborn and going back to the bush, but they'll, they'll get it sooner or later. So would they be able to create a, um, a comb on the bush then? Or what the Th theoretically thing? yes, but in practice they probably wouldn't. Yeah. Um, be bees in this country know that living outdoors isn't probably the best idea. Um, they, uh, they 
tend to look for a cavity in a tree or in somebody's attic or some other place that shelters.